what is the difference in uh, this? This is the, this is one thing which people want to know because uh, in these times people are really looking at buying something which gives you a lot, and they don't want to buy multiple tools. So we did some studies. This was my first study, uh, in the, which was published in uh, 2014. We use repeatability of different uh, topographers, uh, which shine for imaging. And in this paper, it's in Niovis, we found that the Pentacam was very, very robust in terms of repeatability was concerned. So we did this study of, say, normal of 100, uh, Keratoconus, 100 population, 100, this were 100 eyes. So there were 100 eyes. We took only one eye of every patient because uh, statistically that's what we, and we use even post-refractory surgeries. Uh, this was done from uh, the end of uh, October to uh, December, Jan. We looked at all these parameters and again, the, the repeatability seems to be very good. Marginally, I would say better than the, uh, what we published in the parts. This is very important. Because if you don't have repeatability, then everything falls apart. Um, and you can see this is the values. It's just submitted for its interview in GSCRS. Uh, we also important to know about repeatability when you're doing the cross-linking. So we also did a uh, repeatability test out here. And there is a small change, but it's better than what we published in the past. So repeatability, and we look not only at the curvatures, we look at all the aberrations. Uh, comparison is a thief of joy, but still we have to compare. So we did uh, compare with the uh, eye trace and the other abrometers. Unfortunately, many other hartman check abrometers were not even able to image even one scan properly. So that was a challenge. We tried with uh, the Bauschen lomb. We have Bauschen lomb also. We did first. Initially, we started with all the four abrometers, which was a very ambitious study, I would say but we stopped in between because the other abrometers were not even doing, picking up even 50% of keratoconus patients. The pyramus was not picking up. So was uh, the, the, the Zywe was not picking up. So we just ignored them. So we just picked up the, uh, the eye trace, which was picking up close to pentacam was. And in both the normal, healthy, post-refractive, and I would say that they were uh, good agreement between both, but in terms of repeatability, both in, spur, in, that spur, in terms of uh, aberrations, especially post cross link eyes, I think wave was way ahead. So wave, according to me at this point of time, was ahead in all the repeatable measurements which we have studied and which we have published in the past. We also looked at impact of or tear optics on the repeatability. This is something which I've not added here because the analysis is still ongoing. It's very interesting that when you have a, when you have a placido-based system and uh, ray tracing abrometers with less number of spots, you do have a lot of variation because of tear film, which I think uh, was not seen even, I mean, of course, every topographer will have a nothing, but was not seen here, which is a very interesting find, according to me, especially in this mask time when a lot of people have ocular surface issues. Uh, effect of haze is something which we have worked on. In the past, we have published this, how much the, how the effect of haze. And this is very useful and most underutilized part of Pentacam, especially in cross-linking. How does the haze impact it? We are trying to work out some AI models on this about every level of haze, how it can have an impact. And we found that haze up to different uh, GS units has a different repeatability. So your repeatability damp changes with the level of haze. This is something which I think in the future, the software needs to be incorporated because this will make a huge impact on the outcome of cross-linking because everything according to me is dependent on haze and this paper will be sent out, but I'm happy this is something, again, good news. If you look at the SW and coefficient of variation, the haze repeatability is much better in wave compared to what we published in the past. So again, there's good news out there. Um, so to, just to sum up here, uh, I'm quite impressed because it combines your HR with, I'm just put an eye trace here, but this could be any abrometer and these two abrometers. And the challenge always is, am I buying the right one? Or should I 
look at something like a well-established one. Like all this I trace and all these technologies are very well-established ones. So all my studies in the last three or four months was to prove that uh, it is marginally better. Uh, it's superior in some aspects. And it gives you more than what a conventional eye trace or something would give because you are looking there at Placido and here you have everything. So in that way, it's it's a very healthy marriage of multiple good things coming up as one. 